Okay, <clears throat> so welcome back everybody. And like I said, this will be our second remedial session together, which means we'll cover some listening, some reading, a little writing later. But for now guys, let's do some listening first. And let's have a copy of this questionnaire. Now our goal is to be able to cover at least three sets of listening drills, uh, which cover different sections of your actual test. So let's have a copy of this and pass the rest to your students behind. Uh, we have already answered the first set found on page 8. Uh, the one at the top, webs about food. We won't, cover, uh, we won't cover that tonight. Instead, we'll use the one spot at the bottom. The one with the title, Saving the Planet. Okay, let's take a look at that. Now, on the board is the question. It's also in your paper. Let's take a look at this one. Now, this is typical session 2. Uh, listening everybody and you'll be listening to a lady that will talk about ways to save the planet but first she'll talk about some figures some statistical information she'll start with the amount of money that each household could save a year okay so this is a number how much is that number two what is the topic of the book this is a noun phrase here so it could be two or three words uh, however, you're only allowed here two words, so that's your maximum number. So try to conserve the words that you're using here. Now, ways to prevent global warming, her suggestions. Number one, use modern types of what? What's another word for modern, guys? New. New. What else? Latest. The latest. Okay. Happy new, by the way, Ryan. Yeah. New haircut. <laughs> Okay, uh, what else? Updated, right? You could write that. Now, how about number three here, or four? Put your blank in a cool place. What do you not put? What's another word, guys, for cool place? Cool. Chili. 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 Yeah. Cold place, yes. Uh, but guys, it might be possible that you can also use what we call the obverse iteration version of that word. Let me just write that down. Uh, obverse iteration. Okay, let me just give examples here. Uh, basically what you do if you use this particular uh, method is we use the antonym of the word that we're using but include the word not. Exactly. So for example, tall is not Short. Short. <laughs> tall is not tall, it does the reverse, right? Or smart is not, not dull. Not dull or not dumb. Because the opposite or the antonym of smart is dumb, right? So this is the opposite idea. Okay? Now, uh, another example Good. bright not is dark. not dark. Not dark. dark. Or you could say that uh, the weather is sunny, it is not rainy, rainy or not cloudy, for example. You follow? So that's a verse iteration. So what could be the use here? So if it's cool, it is not warm. Yeah, warm. All right, number five, turn off what? This can be a very tricky part here, guys, but check the way that you have to turn off or switch off. Number six, only shower for how long? You see, it is some time. What do you unplug? Okay. Now, for the next uh, three items here, the information is arranged horizontally. So, for each suggestion, you have a corresponding amount you save. So, for instance, if you keep your tires inflated properly, how much would you save? So, yeah. so dollars number. Guys, look at the spelling of tires. It's not a, an I as we're used to, but this is the British way of doing it, okay? They also use it here in, in, in New Zealand. Eating less what? 
you can save you this much. And if you buy food in number 10, it could save you this much, all right? Very straightforward things. Let's now answer. And let's begin. Here we go. Unit nine, climate change. 9.2, exercise six. Good morning and welcome to the program. Did you know that today is Earth Day? Well, in case